A woman of vision is a leader, somebody who is not afraid to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty, definitely a compassionate heart. A woman of vision is a woman who knows when to bring people together to get the job done and really appreciates the time, talent, and treasures of others. I was born in Stamford, Connecticut, raised just outside of Dallas, Texas. I've always been a woman who has given back. My parents had that beautiful moral compass from the very early age to show both my brother and I what it means to give back. It was the right thing to do. It was really all about one toy in, one toy out. Kept it very simple. One new piece of clothing in, one piece of clothing out. The needs that are out there are ever so great, and especially more so now than ever. I've been here for 13 years. I live in Miami. I got very active and involved in the Junior League of Miami, then led me into the different organizations where I became a volunteer. I then made the jump into real estate where I actually met my boss, Greg Showquist, who is the president and CEO of the foundation, and he's the one who gave me this beautiful opportunity. The Wasi Foundation is a private family foundation based out of Minneapolis. Came down here in the 70s, a beautiful snowbird situation. Thank goodness for those cold winters because now we have the, the benefit of their generosity. The Wasi Foundation is very active with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. We created the Wasi NICU. It's a state-of-the-art, beautiful NICU. Also, we just launched the $2.5 million challenge grant for Joe DiMaggio. There's 700 patients that are in the pediatric oncology unit. The needs are ever so great. I had a very intimate situation with a young lady by the name of Amanda, who suffered from osteosarcoma, and unfortunately she lost her battle. So she's my angel, she's with me. She constantly keeps me grounded to fight the fight. We have to live today. We have to have the vision, we have to have the money, we have to have the resources. We also need the scientists. Weizmann Institute has the best and brightest scientists, and when you have the best and brightest, you're gonna get the best. They're on the cutting edge of technology, and they are the unsung heroes. There's so many wonderful people in this community. To have this honor makes me speechless. And there are beautiful women here who really give of their hearts, give of their time, give of their money, which is all encompassing in order to get something done. That's what's gonna make our community a better place. It goes back to the starfish story. If we can make a difference for just one, and it really is that simple. I was born in Havana, Cuba during the Castro period when he just came into power. Very fortunate that my parents had the courage to move to this country. They were in their early 20s, barely knew any English, came with my sister less than two years old and gave us a wonderful opportunity here in the United States. We first came through Miami to New York. My father's boss was actually a Polish Holocaust survivor. He was an accountant in Cuba, and here he started, you know, selling furniture, and I remember it as a very wonderful time. After about 10 years, it was too cold for the family. I came down to Miami. Went to high school at Tillian in Kendall. I was always rushing to get to the next level. I knew that I wanted to be a professional, and I knew that it was important to get education because no matter what happened, even if you lost your country, if you have education, you can always survive. And that started me on the road to math and to the sciences, and from there on, I continued into medicine. I was very interested in the endocrine field, which is the study of hormones. And as I was proceeding, very interesting diabetes and thyroid, but there was a need for women. I would see that there were women that they had the osteoporosis, they were hunched over, they were having the hot flashes, 
and we really didn't have anything for them. I saw that there was a need, I helped these women, and then from there, where could these women go to get taken care of? Where can they go where they would be respected, listened to, not just on the head and, okay, good, go, go take your Xanax and you'll be fine. And so it was very important that the hospital that I affiliated with had that same interest in women as well. I've been with Holy Cross for over 16 years because of the Sisters of Mercy and their mission helping women and children. How have you been feeling? Actually a little tired. You have. Yeah. To be honored with all of the past honorees and in the caliber of those women so? is a wonderful thing. I was just reading a book about Dr. Wiseman and how it all got started and then I get this letter and this phone call about his institute and I just feel very fortunate, very happy. Many of the things that we take for granted is because of this basic research. It's very, very exciting. Without the Weissman Institute, I would be very worried that this drive to find answers for very difficult illnesses would not occur because they are committed to finding these answers, to trying to make those breakthrough discoveries that may not be necessarily profitable without the Wiseman Institute devoting themselves to helping people to making those discoveries. I'd hate to think of what would be. I was born in Miami, Florida. My mother is four generations Argentine. My father is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. My mother's an amazing cook, she still is. A lot of Latin food, some Jewish food, and they're all sort of mixed together. She's still the best home cook I know. And Miami was much smaller and simpler back then. I sort of miss that Miami. I own three restaurants and I run another one as well. The Senora Martinez, my tapas restaurant. Across the street, I have a little lunch place called Crumb. My first restaurant is called Mishi's, my nickname, that I opened with my husband six years ago. And then I run a place in Palm Beach called Michelle Bernstein's. I do the food for Delta Airline. I was just brought on by Lynn Cuisine to make things a little more fresh and bring in more seasonal vegetables. My pots and pans just came out at Macy's, which I was very excited about. And then I also have a TV show called Check, Please. Hello, I'm Michelle Bernstein, and welcome to Check, Please, South Florida. We love what we do. We get to enrich the lives of a lot of people. I started a foundation a few years ago that I fell in love with in Chicago. It's called Common Threads. It's an after-school program, eight to 11-year-olds. We cook with them, we talk about the foods, we talk about the culture and how different, yet so similar, they are. And then we sit down and eat together. A lot of times we try to get them to eat green. You know, kids hate green, they hate that color. But um, the deal is, if they come to us, they have to taste everything. It's great, we're getting the kids so involved in the food and we're learning that not only do they want to do better in school to stay in Common Threads, some of them are actually finding a vocation for their future. What we've decided to do with Miami-Dade County, and hopefully this will stick and will go all over the state of Florida, we put in at least six new dishes on the food line. We've put in vending machines where we have all these really nutritious but delicious foods done by all different chefs in South Florida, all these recipes, and they're replicated in the kitchens of the high schools. They don't even know that they're getting their vegetables, but they are, and they're loving it. They're finally saying, Ma, you don't have to make me lunch anymore. I'm actually going to eat at school. I've been honored before, but never from an institute like the Wiseman Institute. I'm still thinking that y'all made a mistake in calling me. The Institute is incredible. The graduate programs are unbelievable. You have made a healthier world. Your work with cancer, diabetes, agriculture. I mean, every day I use my phone, now I think of the Wiseman Institute. The fact that I can tweet and send text messages. The fact that I feel protected when I put a credit card into the computer to buy things for my baby. Everything that I do now makes me think of the Wiseman Institute and how thankful everybody should be.
I'm a native Floridian, born and raised in Miami Beach. My father was a violinist and my mother was as well. I played the piano. And I'm a sculptor. I dabbled in art as a hobby until I went away to school and majored in sculpting. I think that art and science are on a parallel track. They converge at so many places. Creativity, new ideas. I think it's so important for scientists to look at the world through a different lens in ways that we can't even dream of. And that's what artists do too. As I became super involved in the arts, I was sharing it with my son, then five years old and there was absolutely no place to take my son. So my mom, she was in the musical arts, and so the two of us said, you know, we're gonna do something for kids. Let's start a children's museum for art. And when we opened our doors, we had over 300 family members and 1,000 additional people waiting in line. We created a multicultural program that served children and low-income families, probably the first Go Green environmental program. It was just heaven. It was the most exciting facility. We had so much space, and we ended up serving 100,000 kids a year. We're kind of that little engine that could. The new Young at Art Museum is a 55,000 square foot state-of-the-art building that will serve children and their families as a new town square. We will house an art institute, four exhibition galleries, a changing exhibit gallery, a teen center, a Broward County library, and a preschool. And the new facility is a public-private partnership between Broward County Libraries and Young and Art Museum. I am so proud to be honored by the Weitzman Institute. It is so critically important to support the work that they do every day. The Weitzman Institute is providing the research that is so needed to help humanity. I am so proud that Israel is able to house this incredible institute and that it is open to every nationality, every culture. I applaud the Weizmann Institute for supporting women in fulfilling their dreams and I can totally relate to that as I move forward to fulfill ours.